Yeah, didn't have our best tonight. You know, it's definitely, um, definitely could have played a little bit better as a team. Um, and yeah, it was just hard to get anything going. Uh, even I think energy wise, it was, you know, a trials final, a little different vibe to it, but uh, not our best. And as a result, not the outcome that we wanted, but uh, the Gushu team, you know, one heck of a team. And Canada's got a great representative. Hats off to them. They played great today and uh, well-deserved. No, uh, mix it up a little bit more. I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking back to that game. It was, you know, pretty open. We, we definitely tried to, tried to score some simple deuces when we had hammer and it didn't work out. And we got forced and, um, yeah, like I said, just, just not our best today. And in a big game like that, um, you need to bring your best as a team and in order to give yourself the best chance to win, like I said yesterday, uh, we need, would have needed to be near perfect today in order to win this game, and we weren't. And um, that's the way it goes sometimes, but uh, you know, lots to be proud of. I'm really proud of my guys for the way that they played all week. Uh, you know, we were a world-class team all week. And um, yeah, like I, like I said, I'm just very proud of Caleb, Ryan, EJ, and Mark, and myself for the performance that we were able to put on this week at the trials. You obviously that last shot, Brad, did it feel good coming out of your hand? Yeah, I felt okay. Obviously overthrew it a little bit. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, we can go back and talk about shots that we missed all game long. And I, I mean, still, if, if we make that shot, we go to an extra end, maybe we have a chance, but it's, we know that the odds are not in our favor. So I was trying to make it. Uh, overthrew it a little bit, a little too heavy down that spot and uh, missed it. Oh man, that, uh, the emotions after we won, I was surprised at how much I, I had. Like I, I got real emotional, um, had an opportunity to talk to my wife when I hugged my mom and dad. Uh, my wife and, and kids were on the phone and that, that hit me hard. So um, yeah, it meant a lot. To be honest, watching the game today, I watched the, the last end of the women's game and after it was over, I, I find myself crying after that. So I knew the emotions were there for tonight. You know, I was crying for Jennifer because she won. I was crying for Tracy because she lost. Um, so there was, there was a lot there tonight. And, and these games are tough, but boy, oh boy, did we play good. And I thought we managed the game. And um, it was, I heard boring out there. So I apologize to those people that thought it was boring, but I enjoyed myself. What does it mean to, you to be an Olympian again? Uh, it's why well, I, I was always an Olympian uh, once you're an Olympian you're always an Olympian but the special part is the fact that Brett and Jeff are now get that opportunity they've been two of the best players in the world and and uh, have heard stories from my myself and Mark for years uh, now they get to develop their own memories and, and have their own experiences which I'm, I'm pumped for Brett. yeah you know it's 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 kind of come full circle where uh, I am I'm taking some younger guys to the Olympics which is kind of cool and and certainly the experience that I've had with Playing with Russ and even some, you know, some of the other great players that I've played with over the years, I've I've learned from them and and can now take some of what I've learned and and uh, and share it. Um, guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, so um, you know I'll I'll try and share as much as I can. But they t they've taught me so much over the last couple of years as well. And and once their confidence got to where it is now, like we the way we communicate and the way we um, work as a team, it, it's. It's fun to be out there. It's fun to be part of, and, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just so so happy for the guys. I'm happy for myself too. But Brian, you yeah. spent four years building to this moment. You're forcing longer than that. What does it mean for you just to realize this as a team? Uh, you know what? We've we've had an incredible eight year run with all four of us, and and you know I, I believe there's only a couple other teams that have won three Briars with all four players. So you know we were in elite company as it as it was. Uh, now to add an Olympic uh, opportunity, it's you know, it just proves that we're, we're a hell of a team. And, and I, I don't like to toot my own horn, but our, this team is really, really good. And uh, we've been good for a long time. And, and uh, I think it's just the fact that we enjoy playing with each other. We, we communicate well and we have fun out there and, and uh, the results have come. So um, I'm so proud of it. I, yeah, yeah I, you know what? I, I just kept saying, patience, patience. Don't push it too much. You know, we had the one point lead. I felt like he had to come to us and he was, you know, he was pretty patient too. And, and listen, I got to give Brad and his team a ton of credit. Um, 
they were they're the one team that you know really scares us to be quite honest because their ceiling is so high and and we played them a couple times where we played really good and they still kicked their butt um, so we knew we had to be patient we knew we we couldn't one shot was going to make the difference out there today and, and we had a couple half shots but we never had any zeros and, and that's the key against those guys because you know they'll, they'll make you suffer for it and, and um, it was a tough game and, and I, I yeah when that when that rock rolled the emotions the excitement was just crazy I can't even describe it um, it was pretty exciting I think so it's going to be completely different you know we're not going to have any family over there I'm sure there's going to be lots of COVID restrictions it's it's going to be a completely different experience than what we had 16 years ago uh, but I think we're going to enjoy being Team Canada being the Olympic team when we get over there uh, you know I think we're not going to have the opportunities to, to go to all kinds of different events and meet different athletes, so that's going to kind of go away. Um, so it's probably going to be a little bit more business-like than what I would have loved it to be, but you know, we're fortunate to, just to get a chance to play in the Olympics and, and uh, you know, in a pandemic. So I, I'm, I'm not going to complain at all. It's going to be a great experience, and I'm looking forward to it. I guess when you win it when you're so young and you know, we were, like, curling was our lives then. Now, not that it's not our lives anymore, but we've got quite different lives and um, you know we've put our heart and soul into to getting back and it's been 16 years and oh, I can't I just can't wait to start the prep and get ready to do it again in, in this field like you saw the numbers that a lot of teams put up this week and um, sometimes it's a, a millimeter or a half shot here and you got to take advantage and um, if you don't you're gonna lose and uh, I this team has worked so hard over the past two cycles you know, we were so close four years ago, and uh, for us to put it all together, I think we, you know, we planned our season around being at peak form at this moment, and I, I can't, you know, that was as textbook a game as we could have played and against an unbelievable team. We, we needed all of it to win. Mark, how are you able to stifle Jacob's attempt to generate offense with that? Well, it, like, it's just get the angles and throw the right way. You know, the biggest thing this week is when you throw, like, when skip ass for hack weight you can't throw it heavy because you're going to get burned you got to throw the right weight and i think we did a very good job of throwing the weight and then let the sweepers and the the line collar do the rest of the work when you overthrow it you're going to get you're going to get yourself in trouble and we did a very good job of throwing the right weight they've worked so hard and they were you know with brad while i was playing with jeff in manitoba and they've developed their game and they're you know one of if not the best front end in in the world right now and you know there's a lot of great front ends but I put them up with anyone, against anyone. Um, Jeff was unbelievable today. He was putting them on a dime, and I think that really helped us, you know, uh, kind of combat that, you know, Brad Jacobs attack. He was just putting them in such a great spot, and you know, Brad played unbelievable as well. I'm just, she's put up with a lot over the last 16 years for us to get back, and uh, I'm I'm happy that Beckett, you know, he's still young, but. You know, he talks, he talks about the Olympics. We watched the Olympics this past summer. He, he was into it, and he, he loved watching Canadian athletes perform. And, you know, now he's got the chance to watch his dad perform at the, you know, the biggest sporting event in the world. Uh, like, that's, that's super cool, and I really, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful that they, they let me do this. So it, it means a lot. Je vais essayer. Mon français n'est pas très bien, mais c'est... Uh, on a... Très content, mais il y a 16 ans qu'on est allé aux, aux Olympiques. Um, et des fois, je, il y a des temps que je pense que je ne vais pas retourner aux Olympiques. Et, et maintenant, avec cette équipe, um, c'est difficile pour moi de, de, de dire, de mettre dans les mots. Uh, c'est it's, it's unbelievable. Sorry. Ah, cette équipe. So, on est ensemble pour huit années. Um, on a perdu le, le semi-final quatre années passées. Um, dans ce temps, on a gagné trois briers. Et maintenant, cette équipe va, va aux Olympiques et on, on va pour gagner les Olympiques. On a deux, deux mois de préparer, mais uh, ça, ça va être très excitant. Uh, incredible. It's unbelievable. Uh been a dream for probably since I've seen these guys win in 2006 it probably really started the Olympic dream for me so to do it uh, together with them and as a team uh, just feels incredible. What was that moment having Jocelyn come out onto the ice for that hug bike? Unbelievable. Uh, 
God, I haven't been that nervous in a long time watching them play uh, earlier today. And uh, yeah. Adon, I was just ecstatic for her. It took everything I could just to kind of regroup and refocus for our game because I was just so overjoyed for her. And she works harder than anyone. And uh, she was kind of inspirational watching her win. And uh, so definitely a special moment for sure. It's going to be a pretty special moment to do this together. Unbelievable. I mean, you, you think maybe with mixed doubles, you know, we play together, we might be able to go to the Olympics together. For both of us to come out on top through the, both of these fields this week, incredible, like unbelievable. And uh, yeah, we're so excited. Uh, it's just to be able to share it with her and to go through it together. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, I think we, we kind of said before, you know, if, if, if one of us were to get through this as a, as a champion, um, we'd just be so happy for each other. And to do it to do it with each of us uh, together is just like I said I, I can't believe it and it's uh, I'm so excited for it yeah uh, it's uh, uh, it's unbelievable like you hate you, sometimes you hate to do the celeb the big celebration on when it's not your shot um, but I mean it's just too big of a moment to, to not you know let loose at that moment and it, when that rock rolled out of the eight foot it was just Brett and I looked at each other and just started hug and play. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, you know, it was awesome. I mean, they've been great great teammates for the last, I've been with Brad for 11, 12 years now, and, and uh, you know, we built for it. We we thought we were one of the favorites last time, uh, going in losing the, the semi, and you know, it's only every four years, so it's so tough, so tough to get back to this point, moment. You want to capitalize when you have the opportunity, and, and you know, those guys were great today, too, so. Well, it's right up there. I mean, it's it's what you dream of when you when you're a kid and you start watching the Olympics. So, obviously, winning that first briar was something special in, in St. John's. But um, you know, this is going to be experience of a lifetime.